That was the promise. That was the, the, the covenant that God gave to his children. He promised them to take them to the land fields with milk and honey. And Moses was not exempted. As a matter of fact, if we look at it from human context, Moses was supposed to be the first people who would even step foot into that place. But if you look at the story, you can see that once in a while, uh, along the while, rather, you could see that Moses derailed. He allowed his state of mind. What state of mind? He allowed his vices, anger, temper, to what? To, to, to make him derail. And, and that gave him a huge consequence. Just that slight act that he did made him to lose the promised land. And that applies to a lot of people presently in this earth that we are living in. You will work and toil and suffer for God for, for the sake of Christ. But there is just one thing that you will do that will mark everything that you have worked for. And that is how mysterious God works. So when you are working for God, you need to have it at the back of your mind that you are dealing with a spirit. You are not dealing with a human. When you are working for God, loyalty is very paramount. Obedience is paramount. Faithfulness is paramount. You have to be highly committed. And it's not just something you do today, tomorrow you backslide. God wants someone who will come out 100% to work for him. Even, even, even while the person is inconvenient.